What's up guys, Sweet Johnny Cage here. I'm going to do a little instructional video for you on how to replace your PS4 hard drive. Forgive me, I'm recording this on my Galaxy, uh, so you won't get to see my pretty face. Uh, the hard drive that's in here already is a 500 gig hard drive, so I went out and I bought a 1 terabyte Western Digital Blue Drive, it's like 80 bucks, 90 bucks. This is uh, pretty good for what you're going to need in a PlayStation. Uh, you could go uh, for like a, a souped up 7200 RPM drive. You do that, you can get an SSD, but I mean, I don't really see the point just yet. Um, when you turn the system on, it's only gonna have 403 gigs available to you, so I would really suggest upgrading. It's only another 80 bucks, and it's well worth it for all the space you're gonna get. So to actually replace it, what you gotta do is you have to, uh, remove this piece of plastic here, this shiny plastic that I didn't want to get my fingerprints on, but I really had no choice. So all you gotta do is push in, apply some pressure, and then pull it out. Like that. Now just be aware this does not void your warranty, so you are totally safe for doing this. Jesus. Okay, there we go. It's much better to do it with two hands. Uh, and then you got to remove this one screw here. That screw there with the, the PlayStation face buttons on it. Uh, I use a tech screwdriver. Uh, you could just get a really small Phillips head bit. That's all you really need. But I have these from modding consoles back in the day. For my video game central days. Take out that one screw. And then you just pull on this tab here. And you slide the caddy out. Now on here you have two screws here, same size bit, two black screws, and then another two black screws. So you take those out, and then uh, you just put the replacement hard drive in there, and uh, I'll come back once that's done. Alright, so now that that's uh, put back into the carriage, using the four black screws, we can just slide it back in. And uh, just put back the silver screw. Now real quick while I'm doing this, just a couple things to watch out for. If you're ever going to replace your drive, it does not void your warranty. This is totally okay with Sony for you to do. They understand that hard drive limitations uh, kind of, not limitations, but expectations kind of rise after a few years. And when a console is supposed to last seven plus years, uh, you know, they want you to be prepared for it. Uh, the other thing is too is... If you're going to replace your drive, I mean, I don't understand why you would need to put in a hard drive like this, but it has to be at least 160 gigabytes. I don't know why you would ever put something smaller in here. Uh, it has to be at least 160 gigs. SSDs will work, hybrid drives will work, and uh, you know, whatever you want to put in there, it's got to be two and a half inch uh, size factor. Any laptop drive will do. I personally like Western Digital drives. I use them in all my machines. Uh, my PS3 has a 500 gig Western Digital in it. So yeah, there's my PS4, and I'll uh, I don't know, I'll be streaming with this and do some fun stuff for you guys. All right, thanks for watching. Any questions? Leave them in the comments, and be sure to subscribe.